This video is about calculating compound interest variables using Excel. We have the following question. David would like to have a savings of $20,000 in an account at the end of 4 years. Calculate the amount he needs to save now if the savings account earns an annually effective rate of return of 9%. Write down the variables we have in the question. In cell A1, write FV which refers to future value. In cell B1, write 20,000 which is the future value amount. In cell A2, write N which refers to number of periods, in that example it is years. In cell B2, write 4. In cell A3, write I which refers to effective annual interest rate. In cell B3, write 9%. Interest in number of periods have the same time unit which is years. In cell A4, write PV which refers to present value. In cell B4, write equal. PV. Open bracket. Choose cell B3 which refers to the rate. Write comma. Choose cell B2 which refers to number of periods. Write comma. There are no periodic payments so write another comma. You could write zero as well. There is a negative relationship between present value and future value. For example, if a person makes a deposit now in a bank so it is cash outflow for him and in the future, he will get the deposit back with interest which is cash inflow for him. Consequently, write minus which states the negative relationship between present value and future value. Choose cell B1 which refers to future value. Close bracket. Press enter. You will get the present value of $14,168.50.